In this video, I am finally getting started on painting my Ratmen army and I'm showing you a really easy painting process that I've been using for these that I think's turned out really good. So I've been tempted by Skaven and Ratmen and building an army for quite some time, but I've just never really gotten around to it. So in this video, I've got these three here from Titan Forge Miniatures and the rest are by Resin Warfare. All of the little bases that are decorative, they're also by Titan Forge Miniatures and there's some fantastic sculpts in this slot. So I really like the Skaven and that Ratman aesthetic. I just think they look fantastic. They're a lot of fun and they can kind of sit alongside my undead army as well. So I decided I was gonna print off a whole bunch of them and just get painting. And I managed to do all of these within the day. So I was pretty impressed with the results that I got. It's a really easy, quick, effective painting method. So hopefully you'll be able to take something away from this. So the models I printed off, obviously I've got this big beastie here and a couple of like the more, I guess, commander units. I've also just got the basic infantry plague monks as well they look fantastic and then you've got these sort of like initiates i think they were called obviously with the big kind of plague weapons and then these gunners there's a lot to choose from and i've had the resin warfare stuff for absolutely ages i subscribed to their kickstarter campaign i think it was absolutely ages ago i think it was last year when i first got into the hobby i've just never really gotten around to doing much with it and when i started this video and i got tempted by the skaven stuff just was a no-brainer. So first up, I primed them all black like I normally do. And then like with my last video with the undead stuff, I just got a dry brush and I went over with this creamy white dry brush all over all of them. Now, the reason I really like this at the moment is it's given a more stark contrast on the finish. And when it came to the wrap men, I wanted something that was more stark in terms of contrast. I just really like that look at the moment and maybe I'll get over it, but I doubt I will anytime soon. So once I did that, I hit them all with this orc skin. Now, the thing that I've done with this is I wanted to have something that was quite thin and translucent over the top of them all. So for it, I've used a mixture of speed paints, but I also used the Green Stuff World dipping inks because I found in my like initial hands-on with them, they were quite translucent and often quite see-through, and that's perfect for this. With all of the speed paints that I used, I also mixed them up with a lot of speed paint medium. My ratios were about one drop of color to two drops of speed paint medium. And it gives this really nice, thicker glaze effect over all of them, and it really helps to kind of maintain that undercoat as well that you've, you know, done at the start. So I hit them all with orc skin first. I like this color on these. It gives them this kind of like a warpstone glow, and it just really makes them all stand out. I've probably gone too mad with it, and maybe should have just had one area, but I like the idea that every bit of metal that they're using has been forged from this awful like warp stone stuff and I really like the way it turned out. And I was incredibly tempted just to leave them there and have them as this like black and white for everything else and just the metal in this warp stone. I think it'd be a really nice thematic army, but because I've already done some other rat stuff, I wanted to have it all themed together. So I went ahead with that. However, I am very tempted to print off another batch and do like an entire army and just that sort of warp glow and the rest of it black and white. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. Once I did that, I went back in there with some Green Stuff World dipping inks for things like the flesh. It was like the goth skin that I used for that. I quite like it. It's not like the skin colors that you get from like the contrast paints or from your army paint speed paints. It's more of like a purpley brown skin. So it doesn't look quite natural as like just normal skin, but it looks great on these creatures and it has this nice brown tint to it as well for the fur. So I like the way that turned out. I then went around and I hit them with a number of different colors. And again, like I said, when I was using the speed paints, I thinned them down with that speed paint medium, which really helped me to maintain that undercoat. And it gave it this really nice washed out look on the darker areas, but on the highs, it gave it this really nice vibrant pop. I really liked the way they were starting to turn out. One of my favorite combinations was a purple alchemy and Hive Dweller Purple. And the great thing is these really play off against each other. So for things like the cloaks on the big ratty man here, things like all of these initiates as well with all their cloaks, all I did, again, I thinned them down a lot with speed paint medium, and I went over all the high areas with Purple Alchemy. And then I went back in on all of like the shadowy dark areas with Hive Dweller Purple and just slapped it on there. I didn't really need to do any blending at all because the colors just blended nicely into each other. They've got a really nice seamless transition. I think this is one of my favorite combinations and in future I'm gonna be trying it out with all sorts of different colors because I just like the way it worked. It was very, very easy to do. It took absolutely zero skill, which is great for people like me, and I think it turned out fantastic. I also did a similar thing on the big man here. So I used, obviously, the orc skin quite thinned down. I then also used the yellow speed paint by Army Painter, used a lot of speed paint medium with that, and did all like the tips of the weapons and his horns and everything. And it gave it this nice sort of almost like sickly green hue down into the darker orc skin warp glow. 
And again, I like the way that turned out, so I'll be experimenting more with that in the future. Once I'd got all the colors on there, I didn't do my usual thing. I didn't go back in with a dry brush to pull out any highlights. I didn't really do any highlighting either. I just left them there. But then I moved on to the bases, and I was kind of torn with these because originally my plan was that all of like the, um, I guess like the water in the sewers was gonna have this warp effect. And I kind of figured that's what I was gonna do. But when I looked at the models, because there was so much of the green on top, I just figured it would pull away the, I guess, the viewer's attention from all the main areas down to the base, and you would have no idea where to look, because you'd have all this green at the base, you'd have all this green on top, and all this green on the weapons, it would just be like, where the hell am I meant to be looking at these models? So I decided to go for something different, and I went with the darkest blue that you can get from the Army Painter Speed Paint, and I popped it all on there. But obviously that wasn't necessarily going to look like water, so in my mind I was thinking I'd do that, and then I went back in with some high varnish gloss. And I gotta say, I really like the way those turned out. So it gives it this like wet effect, there's a nice bit of reflection on there, and because that blue that I used was so dark, it doesn't really take over, it doesn't really draw your eye too much, but when you start to look at the bases, you notice there's this wet effect there, it's got this really dark, deep blue, and it gives this effect of this awful sewer that you probably wouldn't fall into, and it doesn't draw too much attention away, so a nice little thing to try there. For the eyes, I literally went back in there and I dotted them all with white, well, the ones that you could see the eyes on, and then I used a very thin down Red Army Painter Speed Paint and dropped it in there. The great thing about this is you don't have to be too accurate, apart from for the white bit. Yeah, I need a bit of a steady hand to get the white in there, but actually getting that color and the transition and stuff, you don't need to do too much for it. Because it's so thin down, it kind of pulls around the outside and gives it this more, I guess, pinkish dot in the middle. And I like the way that always works. Simple, easy, and effective. So give it a go and see how it goes for you. You can also try it with different colors. I could have gone for like a yellow, basically any color I'd wanted to, and it's a really easy effect to pull off. And that is basically it. And it's really simple and effective. I went a little bit wild with some of the colors, like these gunners here, they're all this kind of like blue on top. Probably not the most, I guess, law-friendly thing. You probably wouldn't want to have your snipers in these bright colors, but I figured in this vermin world, the brighter your cloth, the better ranked you are because you've been able to somehow trade something for some better cloth and all of that. So I don't know, I just did some kind of mental gymnastics. I'm not sure if it worked. But I like all of the different colors and how it makes the different units stand out. So obviously you've got all the red on these guys, or the purple on these, and then you've got the blue on the top of here. And it just gives something different because then the green ties it all together. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks fantastic. So let me know in the comments what you think. And that is basically it in a nutshell. It's really, really easy to pull off. You just go for that really stark undercoat, have a really thin down speed paint, or obviously if you're using something like the dipping inks, then it works really, really well. It's so easy to do. And yeah, I got them all done in a day. and I'm very happy with how they've turned down. So let me know in the comments, would you like me to expand on the Skaven army? At the moment, I'm really into trying to actually build out some armies rather than just individual units that I've been doing in the past. So I'll be really fleshing out my undead. I'm doing a video on rescuing my old orcs from when I was younger, and I'll be doing lots of Ratman stuff. I'm very, very taken by some of the stuff that Games Workshop are doing at the moment. I'm potentially gonna pick up a couple of boxes there. I don't know, I might be fighting that temptation, but I've got loads more that I can print as well. So let me know what you'd like to see in the future, if you'd like to see more Ratmen stuff, or you know, if you'd like me to move on to a different army. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Let me know your thoughts on that. I've definitely enjoyed using speed paint medium with these and really getting them to this nice translucent level. Makes it very fun for mixing. It lets you really pull out that, I guess, Xenophil Prime base coat that I'd done already, and it's been a lot of fun doing this. Hope you've enjoyed, if you have, Come along for some more content in the future. See you soon. Bye.